my name is Teresa Breland and this is my testimony. So growing up in my childhood, um, I was raised in Petal and I didn't have a very good childhood. My father was an alcoholic and all of my siblings plus my mother was mentally, verbally and physically abused. Um, we did go to church, my sister and I, but the thing that I didn't ever understand is that my parents never went to church with us. Um, they would send us to church by ourselves on Sunday morning. Um, and I remember once asking my dad, you know, why do we have to go to church and you don't go to church? And basically he said that I don't have to go to church because I know I'm a Christian. I can read my Bible from front to back. And he had his Bible on his nightstand. And, and it was confusing because at that time I was a child and I remember that going to church was important but I just didn't know why and so we went to church every Sunday and that continued um, up until I was 18 I think I remember getting baptized at a church in Hattiesburg um, when I was probably about 13 and I didn't know really what it meant to get baptized I didn't have my parents with me and I didn't understand what it all meant um, but after I turned 18 I moved out and got a job and went to college and um, ended up getting married and having children and and I felt like that my life was not going right. I had a lot of trials and tribulations that I went through. Um, I started drinking and I promised myself that I would never be like my father was when I grew up and, and I just felt like that the only way to solve my problems was to drink. So. And I would socially drink with friends on the weekends and um, just to, if I had a problem, I felt like that drinking would solve it and really it didn't, it made things worse. I was invited to come to Bethlehem by my daughter Madison. She had been coming here for a couple of years and she begged me to come, she prayed about it. And so one day I just decided, um, at that time I was living in Van Cleve, it was a two hour drive. And so I said, well, I'm gonna go visit Bethlehem and see what it's all about. So. My husband and I started coming. Um, we might come once a month. It was about a two-hour drive, and so we enjoyed the, the first time we came. Brother Jamie is a wonderful pastor, and each sermon that I've listened to, he's touched my heart in some way. As time went by, we decided to move to Laurel and that we wanted to become members of the church. I remember um, one sermon he was talking, and something just told me that I, I want to be a member of this church. I want to come here as much as I can. And so we became members that day and um, it was back in October of 2015. Ever since then, we've been coming to church. Um, I remember on a Wednesday night, it was probably a couple weeks ago, Brother Jamie was talking about transformation and being changed. He was talking about baptism. And I knew that I had been baptized when I was like 13, but I still feel like that what me getting baptized, I still don't feel like that that I knew Christ and, and my purpose in life. And so I remember that that following Sunday, um, January 15th, Brother Jamie was preaching on the transformation and change. And he was talking about that you have to transform your mind and your actions. And it's not just about coming to church every time the doors open. And it's about living for Christ outside of church and being that Christian person and to not have hatred and, and to love each other. And that's what I want to do. I want to be a better person for the Lord. I want to, to know the Lord in every way possible. And I want to be a better parent, a, a good friend, and a good wife, and a good daughter. And I want to be um, the best person that I can for anyone that needs it. And so that sermon that morning, Brother Jamie was talking about changing your mind and the way that you act. And and when he told everyone to bow their heads and I bowed my head, he said, if you feel like that you are not a savior and you don't know Christ as your savior, you know, raise your hand. And and for some reason, I just raised my hand and, and then I just started crying and I thought I was already saved, but apparently I was wrong. So um, he said, if the person that raised your hand would say this prayer with me. And I said the prayer and then I walked down to the front and. And Brother Jamie prayed with me and Tori prayed with me. And um, I just felt this peace come over me that, that now I know that it doesn't matter. All my worries are at the Lord's feet. So after I decided to rededicate my life to the Lord, um, I've changed in so many ways. I have a different outlook on life. Um, 
I'm a happier person because I don't feel like that I have to use alcohol or anything in my life to make things better. Actually, all I have to do is every morning when I get up now, I fall to my knees and uh, the first thing I do to start my day is I say a prayer to the Lord to watch over my loved ones and to watch over me and to help me fight the devil and, and his ways. And I just, I feel like a different person. I feel happier and my depression and anxiety is getting so much better. And I just know that if I give everything to the Lord, that everything's going to work out for me because I've always felt like I didn't have a purpose in life and that I didn't fit in anywhere. But I know that I'm a child of God and I know that he loves me. And the life verse that I live on is Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And the reason that that verse means so much to me is that I know that now that I'm giving my life to the Lord, that I don't have to worry about everything, that I know that I can just give it all to the Lord and he can give me the strength that I need to carry on. So tonight I'm getting baptized and I'm so excited about it because I know that this means that the Lord has washed away all of my sins from my past and I'm going to be a new person and I'm starting a brand new life. Teresa, because you made Jesus Christ your Lord, I now baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. 